They're coming. The angels are coming for you. But listen, your life could depend on this. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They are fast, faster than you could believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. Good luck. This is How to Survive, brought to you by Thrill Films. We are handling today the Weeping Angels, the deadliest assassins in the universe, the only killers to kill you nicely. Quantum locked, they stay still when you look at them, but once you look away, or if you blink, they come and collect you, your timeline, and they soak it in. And you are thrown back in time, or worse, they snap your neck. Terrifying to any victim, horrifying to anyone who wishes to fight them, they're after you. How do you plan to survive? Well, here are five ways that you could survive the Weeping Angels. Number one, run. You need to run. You need to run away. You can't let them get to you. Run as fast as you can. It's the doctor's rule and it works. Run, run, run. You can't let them see you. You can't let them get you. As soon as you find one after you, you need to run as far and as fast as possible. Number two. Find some friends. Go to public, public places. Find a city. Go where there's a lot of people. The Weeping Angels need you to be alone to really get you. They need not a lot of eyes on them. So you need to be somewhere where there's a lot of people to help you out. And that way, maybe you guys can all figure out a sleeping schedule or something, but you need people around you. Don't do this alone. They will get you if you try to do this alone. Number three, light. Yeah, guys, light is the big thing that can help you out against the Weeping Angels and when they're coming after you. Daytime, it's hard for them to catch you. More people will see them. If you're in a room that is well lit, you'll have better chances. But here's the thing. You might not want to just do one light because, honestly, they can... they have been shown in the past to be able to flicker light bulbs and make them go out. So what you need to do is find multiple sources of light, stay with your party, stay together, and stay close and keep on watch and run when you have to. Number four is tough, but maybe you need to make them look at each other. They're quantum locked, so if they see each other, then they will stop attacking they will stop because they are quantum locked they won't be able to move anymore and they won't be able to get to you but this is a very hard thing to do and you might just want to survive and not try to fight bat like that and there's not too many good ways to make them look at each other but maybe just maybe you can do this or number five try to starve them A way to starve a weeping angel is by catching one. How you catch one is when they are in their stone state, you lock them down and somehow, whether in a room or tied down would probably be the best situation. Here's the problem. Once you tie down a weeping angel, it will cry out to other weeping angels. So, maybe your best bet is just to run away. That, my friends, is how you survive. The Weeping Angels. Good luck. Hey guys, if you like the episode, please like, share, and subscribe. And please tell your friends, because I bet they want to survive too. And also tell us what you would like to see for future episodes of How to Survive. We've got a ton of ideas, like how to survive the Balrog, how to survive the zombie apocalypse, and how to survive a xenomorph. But you tell us what you want to see. Thank you guys, and talk to you later. Mike Thrill with the Thrill signing off. Bye bye. Once you start starving, a time. Uh, uh, not a time lord, these are weeping angels. That's a different episode. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? <laughs>